Bergen and um, I left the hotel and I was in the van on the way to the gig and I was like, oh, this, this place is, what, it is, what is it about this place? It's really fucking special. And then, um, and it, no, but like overwhelmingly so. And then I got to the show and then it started to fucking rain. And, like, oh, and I, I put powder in my hair to make it look thick. And I was just worried that it was just going to go down my face like a shitty mess. And then the whole audience, all together, were like, fuck this, we're not letting this ruin our night. And then, yeah, and then there was something about the air there. There was something about the air. And it just made me feel invigorated and full of life. And then I got on a plane and came to Oslo and travelled into town at about 11 o'clock. And I saw that there were women walking by themselves at half past 10, 11, and I was like, that doesn't fucking happen in any way, right? And then I was on my balcony, yeah, there's a reason I'm telling you this, then I was on my balcony yesterday at the hotel, and I just watched live pass me by in Norway, and I, I stayed there for seven hours and watched you all. You need to know this, Norway's really fucking special. Really fucking special. Yeah. And uh, there's, there's something different about you guys, and there's something different about here. And as somebody that travels a lot, uh, for people that don't travel here in Norway, just know you've got something very fucking special. Except at half past eleven when everybody comes out of the pubs. It's mental. Also, I was watching everybody, all you men, wear white shirts with chinos. Every single fucking one of you. Every one. And then if it isn't like chinos with white shirts, it's chino shorts. You must do something about this. <laughs> Listen, the only reason that I told you that story is because it's important for me to let you know it's fucking special here. <laughs> now, uh, I've got to sing you a song now because that's what you paid me to do. Let's do it.